southern boys with the promise strength. Ain't nobody man enough to feel the pain. Okay, this is my third goddamn take because the first one, uh, freaking laptop and the microphone was not picking up, and then I just didn't feel like I did the right job. On the second one, so this is my third time. Welcome to the SmackDown Live review. TLC's this Sunday live in Dallas, Texas, on the WWE Network for free 99, as Booker T would say. Uh, as we are live in Columbia, South Carolina, the pyro and the intro goes off. Thank Christ, tables, ladders, and chairs. Uh, Set up is all over the all over the arena, or most likely at the stage area. Mauro Ronaldo welcomes us. Alright, he tells us that JBL is the birthday boy of today, and he and JBL wished that Mauro Ronaldo was not there. You know what? I wish that you weren't there, but too bad my fucking birthday was already passed by, so I have to wait like eight to nine months, eight to seven months until that happens, JBL. Alright, so we're in the ring, Renee Young's in the ring, or a fellow Canadian, obviously. Hypes up about TLC and Lexa Bliss versus Becky Lynch for the women's title. Bliss comes through, Bex comes through, and then they go at it. It was a little bit cringy. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, I'm gonna be honest. I will be honest, it was a tiny bit cringy, you know, but in the end, it got down to business. They both signed the contract, and then, you know, Becky Lynch was like, Becky Lynch compared to Bliss, uh, uh, the way how she complains and stuff. She compared, she compared Alexa Bliss to a four year old. Uh, you know. How she loves glitter and, you know, all that stuff. You know, whining and complaining and all that good, good, you know, she, she said. And then, in the end, they fought. When they fought, someone went through a table. By God, they went through the table. And who was it? It was, a, it was Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch got put through the table by Alexa Bliss. And I'm just going to skip it. Anyways, later on the show, Renee Young interviews Becky Lynch after that. This this warms my heart so much. You have no idea. This warms my heart so much to say. I am glad this is happening. Alexa Bliss challenged Becky Lynch to a tables match. Let that sink in. You see, we didn't need anything over the top like Hell in the Cell. We didn't need any, no crappy bullshit. A tables match. I asked for this months ago. And now, I receive. Because, if I can remember, the last women's tables match, I believe, I could be wrong, I think it was... Natalia and Becky Lynch. No, no, sorry. Natalia and Beth Phoenix against Michelle McCool and Layla. I believe so. If not, then I don't know when. But yeah, that is the last tables match I can remember. If there is another tables match that happened after that. Let me know in the comments below. But it's been a while. And guess what? We get it again. Finally. Put the women the same level. Give them matches that the men will go through anyway. So there you go. Um, so then after the segment of Bex. Uh, sorry, Becky Lynch got put through the table by Alexa Bliss. Uh, after that contract signing. We have... James Ellsworth being announced to be on Ambrose Asylum. Great. I don't really like that talk show. Only highlight reel or the cutting edge a little bit or I don't know. Maybe a Miz TV at times. Those are the shows I like. But besides that, nothing else. Maybe a Piper Pit. Well, that can't happen no more, sadly. The fellow Canadian Hall of Famer Piper. No longer with us. But, you know what I mean. Anyways, Kalisto and Ziggler go up against Corbin and Miz in a tag team match, which was actually great. Dolph Ziggler wearing Shawn Michaels uh, trunks again. And, uh, 
In the end, look, Kalisto went for the Salida del Sol, and then Baron Corbin comes through with a chair and hits him in the back. Hits uh, Kalisto in the spine and call for the disqualification. Dolph Ziggler and Kalisto gets the win. Um, American Alpha had their interview by Dasha. F F F F oh, I'm sorry. Some beautiful interviewer. Simple as that. All right. I'm, I'm just gonna da Dasha or da Dasha. Shit. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, the White family had their had their backstage promo. Orton calls out Harper. Say, look, man, you better go do what needs to be done to Kane, or, or we're gonna shave your head. Like, like, like you know, he they're just they're just saying, look, man, just get the shit done, get rid of Kane, all right, and that was it. Simple as this. Harper lost to Kane. All right, enough said. Enough said. Carmella. Has, is supposed to have her match, but she comes out, cuts a promo on Nikki Bella, talks about talks about one of my favorite superstars, John, uh, favorite WWE superstars to be specific, not wrestlers overall, just WWE superstar, aka yeah, yeah, basically that sports entertainment, sports sports entertainment, uh, John Cena, John Cena, right? Got talked about by Carmella, and Carmella says, "Quote, I am gonna beat up." And hurt Nikki Bella so bad. So when I hit Nikki Bella on the chest with a chair. Her own Bella twins are going to pop out out of her back. And I'm going to be vulgar just to correct myself. No politically correct bullshit. No SJW or whatever the fuck they're called. Alright, none of this shit. What Carmella basically said. Because it was PG, obviously. Alright. Carmella basically said, look, I'm going to hit Nikki Bella with the chair so hard on her chest that her titties are going to be popping out of her back. She's going to have the back titties, not the front titties, the back titties, all right? It looked like big-ass bumps, like if two gigantic bees just, just fucking just stung her in her back and she has two big-ass titties, a.k.a. bumps, on her back. That's what she's basically saying. Nikki Bella comes to... Now, you guys remember... Um, the scary movie, right? The guy in the scary movie was being interviewed by a lot of interviewers. And it was one of the funniest shits I've ever seen. And when Nikki Bella's music hit. And Nikki Bella was running to the ring to tackle Carmella. When she was running to the ring. The second the music hit. the My first uh, thought was. Run, bitch! Run! And then... <laughs> yeah, that was that was my first thought. She should have run, but they fought. Nikki Bella stands tall, and you can look, but you can't touch. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we have the Ambrose Asylum. Elsewhere talks about being a WWE superstar. Ambrose is, like, making fun of him a little bit. No, no offense to Ellsworth. AJ Styles comes through like I knew he would. You know, Ellsworth brings up that he beat AJ Styles three times. And AJ Styles obviously brought up, you know, the only reason why you beat me is because Ambrose got involved. If, if Ambrose didn't, never got involved, your bitch ass wouldn't even be here right now. Okay? And I believe so. That's true. But like I said, guys, the reason why Ellsworth is, is where he's at now is because y'all did this. You guys did this. Okay? You guys had to make meme after meme after meme, tweet after tweet, mention on the internet, period, which caught WWE's attention. Yet, when we talk about Roman Reigns, it's a different story. Anyways, Elsewhere gets, gets some attention. WWE's like, we got, ooh, we got money here. We got something. Uh, let's, let's keep him around a little bit. Like, he'll still be a jobber. He won't be fucking, you know, doing shit. He ain't got a... He, he, we, we don't have to sign him a contract. Just pay him some money, and then he'll still stick around. And then guess what? He got a contract now. So, he's living his dream, and I applaud him for it. Let the man live his dream. I get it. You just don't want to see him in the title in the title uh, position. I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit done with the two. I kind of want AJ to fight someone... But then again, he's fighting Dean Ambrose. The reason why he's, he's fighting Ambrose is because of Ellsworth. If it wasn't for Ellsworth, this feud, I would probably I would probably be ranting like I do with the women on Raw with Sasha and Charlotte. 
uh, to AJ and Dean Ambrose. Like, I love AJ. I like Dean. But this has got to end, right? But also, it's the reason why it's still together. And hopefully, TLC is the final time Ambrose will be the more contender for the title. AJ Styles will win this match. So, I kind of just gave you guys my prediction on that already. But, yeah, I applaud him for where he's at, bro. Matt was in the same room with The Undertaker and Edge. Mick Foley had a segment with on He was at Survivor Series, okay? This guy is living. He's been on pay-per-view and, 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 and segments. This guy is living his dream. Honest, honestly, I applaud him. I, 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 just, I just like where he's... I, I like it mainly because he's doing something that I would probably be on my knees and be thanking Vince McMahon be like thank you for this shit because I I honestly would probably be doing the same shit if I if they told me look you're gonna be doing like if, if they told me what they told Ellsworth oh you're gonna be in a feud with AJ Styles Dean Ambrose are gonna be by your side you're gonna be in the ring with The Undertaker and Edge and all this shit bruh don't even, don't even come at me, all right? I'm just going to be like, fuck yes, I am doing all this, okay? So, he's getting money and living his dream. I don't blame him. So, AJ Styles, you know, pushed uh, Ellsworth into Ambrose. Ambrose went flying into the, the ladder. And then AJ Styles beat up Ellsworth. And then the final nail in the coffin for Ellsworth, which I'm pretty sure he will not show up this Sunday to distract AJ Styles. AJ Styles... Styles clashes him, jumping from the steel steps onto the floor. One of the most beautiful Styles clashes I have ever seen right there. And that was on both men. All right, so that's the end of Ellsworth for that night. AJ Styles standing tall until later on tonight. Ambrose beating up AJ Styles to end the show. Just to give you guys a hint, hint. Anyways, Kane and Harper, they already... All right. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to give you guys my... Uh, I'm going to be honest, Jim, right now. All right. I... I will give Sasha and Charlotte credit. Now, I still hate the feud because it's gone too long. Hell in the Cell should have been the nail. The coffin should have been it. But I will say this. Okay. They put on a hell of a match. Not a match where I want to go back and watch, obviously. But a match where I wasn't paying attention, but I obviously seen it. And I obviously will remember. Alright. The only detail I pay attention in that match besides the ending was... Charlotte doing the moonsault off the table. Because she basically turned that into a, a reverse DDT. If you guys saw that. Alright. She caught Sasha, but... An implants her into a DDT, reverse DDT, inverted DDT, like like a scorpion death drop, like Sting, basically like that. A moonsault into a, a scorpion death drop. Besides that, I didn't really care much. And then, look, they put on a hell of a match. In the end, Sasha Banks, when she did the, when she look, they did what I wanted. It's just that they did it too late. I wanted the women to do things like the men do. The men go through excruciating pain. You know, they go through a lot. They have they go into nasty matches. I want the women, since they're claiming that the women are on the same level, I want the women to do the same. So, and if they don't do it, then they're not on the same level to me. They're below them. Because if they're, because if... If you're gonna claim that they are and they're not, then you're just a liar, and I'll, I don't, and I'll, I'm not gonna accept that. So you gotta put them at the same level, and they did that. Kendo sticks, just weapon after weapon, and move, move, and and in the end, uh, the the bank statement with the the handlebars, it, it was nasty. But I'm just got pissed off because Sasha won again, meaning that Charlotte is gonna fight again. And if you think that Mick Foley, what he said, oh, this is the feud, the feud's gonna be over. No, it's not. They're gonna say that one week, and then they're gonna bring it up the next week, saying, oh, they're gonna fight at Roadblock, because they, they could. Because I I saw uh, a news uh, 
a news website that Vince McMahon thinks that we're clueless, thinks that we're, we uh, we have a short term memory, that we're going to forget. I'm not going to forget. I don't forget things. I don't forget things that I vividly remember, okay? Obviously. So, yeah, that's why I was upset last night between on, on that. So, the main event comes through. Look, I'll get I'll just get to the ending. Grand Abitur is being set up, and then Randy Orton caught Gable to an RKO. And after uh, Jordan hits Randy Orton with a spear in the corner, he hits a spear to Bray Wyatt. Luke Harper pulls Bray Wyatt out of the corner to save Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt hits uh, Jordan after he hit into the corner. A sister Abigail, one, two, three. The Wyatts are going to face Slater and Rhino for the tag team titles, and I am hyped. So TLC was better than Monday Night... I can already say that right now. I don't have to wait. TLC is already better than Monday Night Raw this week, or maybe not the week where I went. Fuck that. But every other week of Monday Night Raw. So, yeah. Like I said, SmackDown ended with Dean Ambrose and AJ Styles brawling it out, and that's how it goes. So, yeah. That's SmackDown Live for you, and that's it for the show. That's it for the video. If you guys can, leave a like on this video, subscribe now for more. What do you think? What did you think of tonight's show? Did you enjoy it? I might leave a poll if you made this fun of you. I might leave a poll, but yeah, leave a come, leave a thumbs up, leave a like. What did you think? Are you hyped for TLC? I'll leave a poll for that too. Are you hyped for TLC? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. And I am out. Leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at boy went to the gym, and I am out. Uh, later.